Hi there. In this short video I'm going to show you how to set up multiple loops or multiple ranges using the range manager in Samplitude. Before I start there's a few preliminary setups I need to make so press I to open the project options dialog box. You need to have snap to grids and bars enabled first that's important. Also you can set the snap resolution by clicking on this box here so I'm going to set that to one quarter resolution for this and the grid needs to be set to bars and beats as well. That should do for now. Click OK. Incidentally you can also make these settings by right clicking on what's called the grid and marker bar. From here you can choose the various time formats snap and grid setup, tempo, time, signature, samples, milliseconds, simpty. If you look at the transport there's a padlock there and if it's blue it means that snap is enabled. You can also click on that to enable and disable the grid. You can also have a separate keyboard shortcut to turn the grid on and off. I prefer to do that and I've also assigned the separate keyboard shortcut for enabling snap as well. Of course you may not want your range to snap but I'm going to use snap for this demonstration anyway. I'm making my first range selection between bars 3 to 7. So now I'm going to click on the manager tab and up it pops and the ranges tab is already in view so that's the one I want. Now I'm going to left click on the green icon which is the define new range button and type in the name range 1 for these purposes or it could be something like second chorus third line. You may be more familiar with the word loop or cycle but in samplitude speak it's called a range just to clear that up. So now I'm going to draw in the second range, go from 9 to 13. So again click on the green icon, define new range and up pops the dialog box and I'm going to type in loop 2 this time. The next range I'm going to draw in is bars 15 to 19. Press the green define new range icon again. I'll name that loop 3. That should do for time being. So now we have three ranges in the range manager and all you need to do is left click next to the range you want to enable. Notice the arrow next to it and as you click next to a range it's updated in the VIP. Now when I click next to a range in the range manager the range in the VIP jumps to that position. You see it jump now? 15 to 19, 5 to 7, bar 9 to 13 bar 15 to 19. You can then save as many ranges as you want in the range manager. So if you need to go back to a particular punch in point it's all there and ready to use at any time. Incidentally there's a particularly useful shortcut you can use called flip range left and right. So as you can see I have a range going from 15 to 19. Now if I use the flip range right command the range will flip forward by four bars and this can really speed up navigation. Then at any point when you decide you want to save that range just open up the range manager, click the blue icon define new range and type in the new name. Couldn't be easier. OK flip range right again. Of course it will always jump at the current range value. Watch it jump, there it goes. And one more time. OK I'm going to save that in the range manager now. Click on the green icon, name it loop five click OK and that's saved as well then one more time flip range right I'll do it twice this time so it goes from 43 to 47 click on define new range loop six OK and there it is added to the list so that's six loops defined hit play we're on loop six at the moment I'll click next to loop five and it jumps to loop five click next to loop four now the range is enabled from bar 27 to 31, then loop 3, loop 2, range 1. Maybe you can save these ranges as specific punch in points for vocal overdubs or whatever. So it means you haven't got markers everywhere cluttering up the arrangement so it keeps it cleaner. So that's it in a nutshell really. If you want to use multiple loops you can just save them in the range manager and they're there for access at any point. Simple but effective I would say. Cheers for now.